Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Susana, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You? Okay, good. I'm well, yes, okay. And how about your day? How was it? Um, uh, I take a consultation. In the morning, I wake up at 5 a.m. I go to the gym, uh, come back to my house, uh, take a shower, um, get dresses, I go to the work. Okay. And I give consultation. You had I some appointments. My house. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very good, Susana. I'm glad to hear that you had a good day. Very busy, though, right? <laughs> Tony, good evening. Good evening, to you. How are you? Um, uh, okay. is, is excellent. Excellent. That's great. It's excellent. Okay. Um, so, how was your day? Um, my day is um, um, good because tomorrow I rest. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Great. So what do you like to do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué le gusta hacer en su tiempo libre? What do you like to do in your free time? Um, <laughs> Don't worry. I can help. <laughs> I don't, so do you watch TV, listen to music? No. No? Um, Sleeping? First, and first, <laughs> and first day, um, ah, digamos, lo que no puedo hacer en la semana, lo hago en los días de descanso. Oh, sure. You take care of your errands. Todos los mandados, errands. Yeah. Yes. I know. <laughs> There's always a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm. All right. But it's good that you don't have to work. It's good that you don't have to work. You have some free time. Um, answer in Spanish, please. <laughs> oh, sure. Pero es bueno no tener que trabajar. Tiene tiempo libre. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> nice, <It's> Tony. <laughs> Arnoldo, good evening. Arnoldo, check your microphone, please. Oh, yeah. Now Let's I see. can hear you, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, how's everything? Uh, how, are you? how are you? Ah, good. 
plan. And you? Okay. I'm okay. Thanks for asking. Okay. How was your okay. day? Uh, well, uh, well uh, when a bigger scar can uh, go, oh, okay. um, let's alone with the car and it can into mot motorcycle. Motorcycle? Uh, and, mm -hmm. and, motorcycle and to invade invade the lay. Uh, oh. thank good and they not pass more. Oh, so you were. Um, o sea, no, no pasó más. <laughs> pero, yeah, nothing pero happened. Sí, susto. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that is so bad. Yeah. But thank God you're good. You're fine. Un solo. Oh. Un solo sale. Yeah, that's pretty bad. But I'm glad that you're good. Sí. That you're fine. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good evening, Frank. Good evening, teacher, and good evening, everybody, friends and partners. How's everything? I don't think it was a normal day. I made a lot of things, and I am here with, with you. And, hey, teacher, how about uh, last night? Did you go to what the happened? party? And and did you eat some milotes locos? Oh no, I didn't. No, there was nothing but the um the virgins carroza. So it was only the mm. religious thing, you know. And then we had some fireworks, but there was nothing. There isn't any any um what any fair anything. You know, because of ah. the coronavirus, we cannot do anything. So yeah, it's better to be in house. So there was only noise in oh. the class. <laughs> ah. Yes, Very that good. was it. Okay. So let me see, Cecilia. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. How good are night. you? Fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, I had a good day, full of work, but at home. Okay, that's cool. So what do you do, Cecilia? Excuse me? What do you do? A que se dedica? Uh, I am an accountant. Oh, you're an accountant. Okay, great. Yes. Dalia Ramos, good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine. Thank Great. <laughs> I'm I'm fine. I'm just well. And how about your day? How was it? Mm, a little difficult all day. Oh, what happened? Um, tuve que despedir a alguien. Oh, you had to fire somebody. Yeah, that's hard, right? Oh no, so sad. <laughs> okay. Um a little um sentimental sentimentally yeah it's kind mm -hmm. of bad right okay yeah carmelina good evening good evening teacher how, how are, are you? you i'm good and you i'm fine Okay, excellent. How was your day? Fine, thank you. I had a good day. You had a good one? Great. Did you have to work today? You did? Yes. Okay, nice. I'm glad you had a good one. And let me see, Carlos. Good evening. Good evening, Miss. <clears throat> How are you? How's everything? I'm fine. Just fine? How was it's your day? Okay. <clears throat> fine. I do all reports. Okay, you had to make some reports. Okay, good. Yeah. You had a busy day, I bet. Yes, 
All days are busy. <laughs> oh, every day is the same. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That happens, right? Dalia Margarita, <laughs> good evening. Hi, good evening. How's everything? Well, it's okay. Less cold. <laughs> yes, right. Today is warmer than yesterday. So it's good. Yeah. Don't you like the cold weather? Weather? So so. So so. Okay. I like it, but I have to be with sweater and merry coffee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. How was your day? It was very trepidant and busy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Okay, Sulma. Oh, sorry, Dalia, were you going to say something else? Sorry. Okay. So, Sulma, hello. How are you? Hello. Fine. Great. How was your day? Uh, very good. Okay, nice. So, it was busy, I guess. That's everybody else's. It was busy, un día ocupado. Um, so, so. <laughs> oh, it was calm. It was okay. Nice. Yes. yes. All right. I'm glad to hear that. And Jose Manuel, how was your day? Um, check your microphone, please, mister. Check your microphone, please. Oh, sorry. There we go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, uh, hi, uh, my my it's tired day, but but ready for class. All right, nice. Thank you. Good. So, and you? Let's... how are you? I'm fine. So today was really busy, but at the end I had some time to rest in the afternoon, so I feel well. I'm okay. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, before we start with the review, let me tell you about some other ways to ask, how are you? Because I keep on asking you, how are you? How are you, right? And then we normally keep on giving okay. the same answer. I'm fine, thank you, and you, and so on. But there are many ways to ask and answer this, right? So, of course, the, the most common one is, how are you? But we can also say, for example, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm typing them on the chat. I'm sending them if you want to check. So we can say, how are you doing? How's everything? Um, let me see another one. How's life, for instance, we could say that. And then some ways to answer would be the first one that we commonly say, I'm fine. And we could also say, I'm good. We can also say, I'm well or pretty well. Everything's all right, everything's fine. You can also say, I'm okay. So there you have some different alternatives, right? Or you could also say, so, so. Some of you answer, so, so. So just for you to keep them in mind, right? Um, all right, so let me start with the review. Let's go to our presentation. I'm sharing it. Okay, so let's review the simple present one more time. Let's see what you remember. And um, we have already studied the three forms, right? The affirmative, negative, and interrogative. So let's start by talking about the affirmative form. What can you tell me about it? So 
here I got three different things to consider. We are going to talk about auxiliary verbs, main verb, and the examples. So tell me, do we have any auxiliary verbs in the affirmative form of the simple present? Do we use yes. any auxiliaries? Is, do, 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 and does. But in the affirmative form, um, we do not use any. In affirmative sentences, we do not use auxiliary uh, verbs, right? Yeah. So, okay. We are as if. Exactly. So what happens is that we add S to the main verb when we're using what subjects? When using subjects, um, he, she, it. He, she, and it. Okay, so for example, we normally say I study English, but if I change the sentence and I have a subject that is she, I, I have to say she studies English, right? She studies English. So I always have to make that change in the main verb. Give me some examples, please. Uh, she plays the... Music, the place. She plays some music, we'll say. Okay. Make another sentence using I. I place, okay. I. How about we use a different verb? Let's change the verb play for another one. Let's keep on learning verbs. I read the book. I read a book. Good. Let's make another example using we. Dance at the party. Dance at the party. Okay, now let's make another one using he. Eat a pizza. He eats pizza. Okay. Now they. They, they run in the park. They run in the park. Great. And let's make one using it. Any ideas? Think about it and give me an example using it. <laughs> okay, let's use the verb drink. It drinks. Give me a compliment. Wine. Fine. Okay. Great. And we're missing you. Let's make one using you. You climb the mountain. You climb the mountain. Excellent. So now we have the information for the affirmative form. We do not use any auxiliaries. We only have a main verb. And remember that we change the main verb only for the third person. That is the subjects he, she, and it. 
And what happens to the verb is that we add S, E, S, or I, e, I, E, S, depending on the subject we are using, right? Depending, sorry, depending on the verb that we're using. And here we have some examples. When we say she, we use the verb plays with S at the end. Then we have he eats, eats, it drinks. And for all the others, we keep the verb in the, in the base form, in the infinitive. We got read, dance, run, and climb. Now the negative form, for the simple present, what auxiliaries do we use? We use it, uh, do not. We use do not. Does not. He does not. And does not. Add a different color. Okay, we got do not and does not. And we also have some contracted forms for them, what is the one for do not? Don't. 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 And for does not, we got? Doesn't. Doesn't. Okay, now tell me what subjects do we use with do not? Uh, I do, we do. Okay. You win the. And for does not, we got the subject. She, 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 and she. It. Okay. There we go. Then the main verb, what happens to that? Uh, it is uh, in the base form. We use the base the base form. We do not change it. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't change. We use read, drink, go, play, run, and take, bring in whatever verb, but we do not add S or anything. We just keep it in the base form. Now give me some examples. Let's use I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do not read a book. I do not read a book. Okay. Now let's make one using he. He jumps at the park. Uh, he, but it's negative. Make it negative. Uh, he don't. He, he, doesn't. he doesn't. Doesn't. He doesn't. Um, at the park. Next one. Let's use they. Any ideas? They do not uh, run in the park. Great. Next one using she. She, uh, she does not drink tea. Does not drink tea. Tea, correct. Great. Give me one with you. You do not. Mm -hmm. You do not. Eat pizza. Eat pizza. And one with it. Don't. It don't play. It doesn't play. Doesn't. Doesn't play with a ball, let's say. And we're missing we. Example, please. Any ideas? 
We say we, we do, do not dance dance in the party. We do not dance in the party. Great. Now let's talk a little bit about the interrogative form. So what auxiliaries do we use? What do we use for yes. questions? And I, you, we, they, or okay. do? For I, you, we, and they, we use do. Yes. And for he, she, and it? Use and does. We use does. All right. And what happens to the main verb? And now, Salgiri. Okay, so we use the auxiliaries do and does. And the main yes. verb? What happens to uh, the main verb? Do we have to change it in any way or it doesn't change? Um, doesn't change? It doesn't change, right? Once again, we use the base form. And we do not have to use, to change it in any way or to add anything to the verb. Okay, now let's make some yes, no questions using do or does. Any ideas? Do you read the magazine? Do you read the magazine? What else? Um, does he exercise to the at gym? Does he exercise at the gym? Okay, what else? Let's say do they does she go ahead. Does she? Does Hi. she ride bicycle? Ride a bicycle. Okay. And the other one, let's see, we already use you, he, they, and she. Let's use it. So we say, does it. Ideas? Join. Travel to the Mexico. Travel to Mexico. Okay, now let's use they. Do they? Do they? See in the sleep in the night at night. Okay, sleep at sleep night. Sleep at night. Which one are we missing? Let's see, we got, oh, do I? Do I? Do I get? Do I get? Uh, up at seven o'clock. Okay, nice. Do I get up at seven o'clock? And the last one using we, do we? Do, do, do. do watch, uh, watch. Do, do we watch, uh, watch television in the evening? The evening. Very good. So we got some examples of different forms of the verbs. Now, um, tell me, do we have any doubts about this? Anything that you need me to explain again or are we good? We're fine, ready to continue? 
Okay, so just remember, in the affirmative form, we change the verb for the subjects he, she, and it. In the negative form, we use the auxiliaries do not or does not, or the contracted forms don't or doesn't, and the verb has to be in the base form. Then for the interrogative, we got something similar to the negative, except that we remove the not, right? We got do and does. And the, ver the verb is also in the base form. That is what you have to keep in mind whenever you're using the negative and the interrogative. The verb doesn't take any S. Okay, so let me continue. Now let me tell you about my routine. So I wake up at 6 a.m. I get up at 6.15 a.m. I check my phone. I take a shower and get dressed. I brush my hair and put my makeup on. I teach my first class at 7.30. In the break, I have breakfast. I finish my classes around noon. Then I do lesson planning. I eat lunch with my family. I teach a class in the afternoon. I get back home, I eat dinner, I teach my night's classes. I finish at 10 p.m. I chat with friends and check my social networks. I put on my pajamas, brush my teeth and wash my face, and then I go to bed. So that is my daily routine. Today we're going to learn a little bit about how to tell our daily, our daily routines. All of those activities that we normally do, right, every day. So um, yesterday we mentioned some of the verbs or some of the activities that we do, right? Um, for example, wake up and get up. And remember that I mentioned they are different, right? You wake up, for example, when my alarm clock goes off, I wake up. So I open my eyes, right? I wake up. Then I do not get up until 6.15. I stay, I stay in the bed, right? Then I get up. Then I check my phone, check my phone. I also take a shower. I get dressed. I brush my hair and put my makeup on. Then I teach, I go to work, I teach. I have breakfast. I finish my classes around noon. Then I do lesson planning. Then eat lunch. I teach again. I get back home. Here, I get back home. I eat dinner. Teach again. And then I finish my classes at 10. I also chat with friends every day. I check my social networks. I put on my pajamas, brush my teeth, and wash my face. And then I go to bed. So those are some of the activities that are part of my routine. Now let's practice them. Everybody repeat, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Check my phone. Check, Check my, phone. my phone. Take a shower. Take, Take a shower. shower. Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Brush my hair. Brush my, my hair. hair. Put my makeup on. Put my makeup on. Teach. 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 Have breakfast. Have breakfast. Finish my classes. Finish my, Finish my classes. classes. Finish my class. Do lesson planning. Do lesson planning. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Eat lunch. Get back home. Get, Get back, back home. home. Eat dinner. Eat dinner. Eat dinner. Finish. 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 Chat with friends. Chat with friends. 
check my social networks. Check my, check my, my social, social networks. networks. Put on my pajamas. Put on my Put pajamas. My pajama. Brush my teeth. Brush, Brush my, teeth. My, teeth. my teeth. Wash my face. Wash, Wash my, my face. face. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Wash my face. Go to bed. Go to bed. I put on my shower. Okay, do we have any questions? Mm, no? Okay. All right, here I have another example of a daily routine. Can somebody help me to read it, please? Any volunteers? Okay, so let me read it once and then I'll ask for some volunteers to read it. So we got, I always wake up at seven in the morning. I usually have breakfast at 7.30. I catch the bus to university at eight. I usually start studying at 8.30. I always have lunch at noon. I finish university at 4.15 in the afternoon. I sometimes go to the cinema with my friends in the evening. I usually have dinner with my family at about seven in the evening. I never go to bed before 11 o'clock. I often go to bed at midnight. That's how it goes. Now, let me have some volunteers to read it. Anybody? Hi. Tony. Okay, Tony. go ahead, Tony. Okay. Uh, I always I always wake wake up at seven in the morning. I usually have breakfast at seven thirty. Catch the bus the to university at. Eight, he usually starts studying at 8.30. I always have lunch at noon. I think he, I finish university at four, four, five. Fifteen, fifteen? Fifteen, fifteen, sorry. In the afternoon. I summarily go to the cinema with my friends in the evening. I usually have dinner with my family at about in seven in the evening. I never go to bed before 11 o'clock. I often go to bed at midnight. 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 Very good, Tony. Thanks for reading. Let me have another person to read again. Any volunteers? Yo. Okay, Dalia, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I always wake up seven in the morning. I usually have breakfast at 7.30. I got the bus to university at eight. I usually start studying at 8.30. I always have lunch at noon. I finish university at 4. Um, 15? 15? 15 in the afternoon. I sometimes go to the cinema with my friends in the evening. I usually have dine, dinner with my family at about seven in the evening. I never go to the, no, I never go to bed before 11 o'clock. I often go to the, go to bed at midnight. All right, excellent, Dalia. Thanks for reading. Do I have any other person who wants to read? Any other volunteer? Hi. Okay, Jose Manuel, go ahead. Hi. <laughs> um, I always wake up and 
seven in the morning. I usually have breakfast at seven thirty. I catch the bus the university at eight. I usually start studying at eight thirty. I always have lunch at noon. I finish university at 4.15 in the afternoon. I sometimes go to the cinema with my friends in the evening. I usually have dinner with my family about seven in the evening. I never go to bed before 11 o'clock. I often go to bed at midnight. Midnight, very good. Jose Manuel, midnight. thanks. Okay, now everybody, let's practice pronunciation. Repeat, please. Always. 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 Morning. 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 Usually. 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 Breakfast. 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 Catch. 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 Bus. 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 University. 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 Usually. Usually. Start. 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 Studying. 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 Always. 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 Lunch. 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 Noon. Noon. Afternoon. Afternoon. Sometimes. 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 Cinema. 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 Friends. Friends. Evening. Evening. Dinner. 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 Family. 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 Excuse me, my throat is <laughs> kind of tired, so. Sorry. Yes, tell me. ¿Me escucha, Miss? Yes, I can hear you. Fíjese que eh, estoy teniendo problemas con el internet. Se me cae cada rato, casi no he escuchado el progreso de la clase. Para que sepa por si en algún momento me ve desconectada es porque... No, no sé qué pasa, quizás yo vivo cerca del cuartel y quizás este, eso me está afectando. Así yeah. que, para que sepa mi... Ok, Así thanks está. for telling me. Yeah, I think Así the weather está. also... Yeah, the, word, the weather is also bad for the connection, right? So, bueno, let's continue. Ok, thanks for telling me, Zulma. So, let's try to continue. Repeat, please. Family. 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 Never. Family. Never. 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 Before. 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 A clock. A clock. A clock. Midnight. 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 Okay. So now let's continue by reviewing some vocabulary. Here we have wait, get up get dressed get up and yes maybe we could practice pronunciation um, at the same time so let me say them and you repeat get up get up, get up. Get up. 
Get dressed. Get dressed. Get dressed. Take a shower. Take a shower. Take a, shower. Take a, shower. Take a bath. Take, Take a bath. bath. Wash your hair. Wash, Wash your hair. hair. Put your makeup on. Put your makeup, Put makeup, makeup, on. makeup on. Have breakfast. Have have lunch. Have dinner. Have dinner. Have coffee. Have coffee. Have coffee. Get the kids ready for school. Go to school. Go to school. Go to work. Go to work. Get back. Get back. Get home. Get home. Watch TV. Watch TV. Watch the news. Watch the news. Watch a documentary. Watch a documentary. Surf the net. Surf the net. Go online. Go online. Check my social networks. Read a book. Read a magazine. Okay, so those are some of the activities that we may do daily, right? And check them and tell me if you have any doubts about any of them. Um, do you know the difference between taking a shower and taking a bath? Do you know it? No. So, taking a shower, tomar una ducha. Taking a bath, bañarse, like in a bathtub. Como cuando uno se da baño en, 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 how to say, Tina? That would be taking a bath. And then taking a shower is tomar una ducha. And what else? Yeah, here you can use both of the verbs, have breakfast or eat breakfast. And that, I think that's pretty much it. Continue with the other vocabulary. So repeat, please. Take the dog for a walk. Meet up with friends. Catch up with friends. Catch up with friends. Catch up with emails. Catch up with emails. Catch up with the paperwork. Clean. 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 Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Do homework. Do homework. Do, Do the housework. Do the housework. Do the chores. Do the chores. Go out for a meal. Go, out. Go, out. Go, out. Meal. Go to a restaurant. Go to a restaurant. Get undressed. Get undressed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay, do we understand all of those phrases? Yeah. All right, let me just tell you about this one. I think it's very useful. 
So catch up with emails, for example, would be ponerse al día con los emails or con los correos. Or catch up with the paperwork, ponerse al día con eh, la papelería, los documentos. Catch up with friends, ponerse al día con sus amigos. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now we got some useful expressions for using when we are talking about our daily routines. The first one is early. For example, whenever I say I wake up early in the morning, I do my homework early in the afternoon, for instance. We also have, we got late, which is the opposite to early. So we have a class late in the evening. Another one would be every day. We have an English class every day. We could also mention a specific day of the week. Excuse me, can you mute your microphones, please? Can you turn on your microphones, everybody? So you can hear you. So I was telling you about this one, right? We could also mention a specific day of the week by saying, for example, on, on Friday, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, and so on, right? For example, you can say, I play soccer on Fridays. Another one would be on weekends. On weekends, I go out with friends or I go out with friends on weekends. And we also got on weekdays, I work on weekdays. I work on weekdays. That means that you work from Monday to Friday. And for talking about specific time, we use at, for example, when we say, I take the bus at eight in the morning. I go to school at seven o'clock. I eat dinner at noon. Okay. Now here I have some different activities that we do every day. What I want you to do is to write them down and number them. You copy the activities and you number them according to the order in which you do them. For example, number one has to be get up, of course. But what do you do after you get up? What do you do after you get up? You maybe take a shower or you brush your teeth first or what do you do i mean you decide the order in which you do the activities for example get up would be the first one then the second one for me would be brush my teeth that would be number two for me then i take a shower that would be number three and so on so just Number them according to the order in which you do them. Do that now, please. Everybody, you copy the activities and you number them. Copiamos las actividades y las enumeramos de acuerdo al orden en que las hacemos. Thank you. 
Let me know when you finish, please. Did it. Okay, Dalia. So tell me, what's your activity number two? Take My, a shower. Take oh. a shower. Dalia. Okay. Oh, Dalia Margarita, and then Dalia Ramos. Okay. So let's see. Sorry. In your, it's okay. Dalia Margarita, what's your last activity? Um, sometimes, but the last last, clean the house. Clean the house. Sometimes. Okay. The one that we like le the least. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Dalia Ramos, tell me about your yeah. list. What is your third activity? What is your activity number three? Uh, take a shower. Take a shower. All right. And the last one? The last one. Um, brush my Es la anterior, ¿verdad? No, la última. Ah. Eh, go back home. Go back home. Okay. Good. Who else finished? Susana, did you finish? Yes. What's your activity number five? Number five. Brush my hair. Brush your hair, okay. And what do you do before that? ¿Qué hace antes de esa? Number four. Um, take a shower. Take a shower, okay. Nice, thank you, Susana. Okay. Lisette, did you finish? Yes. Okay, tell me about your activity number eight. And a uh, go back home. Go back home. Okay. And what do you do after you go back home? Después de llegar a casa uh, o de regresar a casa, what do you do? Uh, um, watch TV. Watch TV. Okay. Great. Frank, mm -hmm. tell me about your activity number nine. Microphone. Go back home. You go back home. Okay. And before going home, what do you do? Eat lunch. You eat lunch. All right. Nice. Jose Manuel, what's your activity number three? Dos, cuatro, seis, ocho, Check your microphone, Jose Manuel, please. And number three, brush my teeth. Brush your teeth. Okay. And mm -hmm. what is the last one in your list? That's fine. Um, después o al final del día. 
La última. The last one. La última sería. Watch TV. Watch TV, okay. Great. Arnoldo, tell me about the first activity in your day. Take your microphone, Arnoldo. Work. Can you repeat it? Work. Work. Yes. Okay. And the last activity of the day is? Mm. Uh, watch TV. Watch TV. All right. Interesting. Okay, now that we have shared a little bit about our routines, we are going to go to the practice. So let me send you to the wake up rooms once again. So you saw some exercises. We got practice number one. We have to choose the correct verb. Here we have, um, for example, Tom up early every morning. And we got some options, goes, makes, gets, and has. What would be the correct verb there? Gets. Gets up. We say Tom gets up. Okay, so there you have some. Then we got practice number two, write the corresponding activities. There you just have to write to fill in the blanks with the activities, right? It's about daily routines again. Practice three, change the sentences to the negative form. So here we have, for example, I take the train to the office. You make it negative. You say, I don't take the train to the office and so on. We got 10. And when we get back, we are going to do some dictation practice. So let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. And I'm sending the pictures to WhatsApp as we usually do. There we go.
pizza. Bye. Practice one. Choose the correct verb. Practice one. Tom gets. Sería lo sé. La dos. He usually takes shower. ¿Qué sería la B? Una dos. He usually. Takes. He usually takes a shower. In the tres, he always eats breakfast before. Always eats a. La cuatro sería always. Then he goes to school. No, on then he he works. Whoops. He goes porque está diciendo que va a pie. Walls, ajá, que camina. Sería la A. Goes. Vamos a la siguiente. Cinco. Sometimes he makes lunch in the school canteen with a friend. He makes. He has. Creo que sería la D. Sometimes he has like lunch he in the school has... canteen with friends. Canteen. Voy a notar esa palabra. Canteen. Canteen. Ok. Uh, teacher, ¿qué significa canteen? It's the cafeteria. Ah, oh, ok, thanks. Ok, you're welcome. And the pronunciation is canteen. Yes, that's correct. Canteen, okay, thanks. Okay, six, after school he always does his homework. Clean. Makes. Make. Makes. Mm -hmm. Sería la A. Makes. His homework. Say so in the afternoon he plays. Let me just tell you about the previous one. You said makes your or his homework. What is it? Can you repeat it? Makes. Okay, or we do not done. say make. We do. We do homework. Okay. It'll be B. Okay. Eight. He, he has dinner with his parents at seven. He has. Nueve. Sometimes he washes. Watches. 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 Yeah. Has, perdón. Sí, literal D. Sí. Okay, he has. Has. Mm -hmm. Lunch. Lunch in the school. Think why a friend she has. After school, always get no get hit no. His homework. His homework clean no. Have six. The six. Nice. I'm clean. here. I'm here in case you need help. Okay. Sí. Sería literal, sí, verdad? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Seven. And um, tarde. Ella. Ella. Juega Plays. D. No, Play. sí. Juega. No va. Plays. No juegas. No. Juega. Stay. Plays. Mm -hmm. Sí. Plays o plays. Sorry. D. The norm, norm, number six is uh, make, ¿verdad? Makes. The letter A. ¿Cuál dice? Letra A. El 6. Ajá. La sí. Number 6 is about homework. 6 is sí. Make. Let me tell you. In that case, we do not say make homework, but we say do homework. It's always that way. Do homework. Do. Yes, do. Or in okay. the case of the third person, does, right? Does. Does homework. Okay. Does homework. Okay. Seven. Seven is D, verdad? Yes, place. Football in okay. the bar. Okay. Sorry. He has. Uh, he, he has. Hey, okay. Chenueve. Va a la cama. At 10 p.m. he goes to bed. Yes. Next. Practice to write the corresponding <clears throat> activities. Number one, I usually get up. Mm -hmm. Get up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. when my alarm clock. Uh -huh. Number two, I. Uh, one moment, please. Mm -hmm. Fireworks. And number two, I I eat. I I eat lunch. I, I, I believe I believe is I have lunch. Mm -hmm. oh, I eat lunch. That's good. I. Uh, repeat and number two, please. Uh, yo creo que es I have lunch in the school canteen at 1 p.m. Uh, there are three, there is, pardon, number three. In my family. And now say that. Wow. 
about go to dinner. No solo go to dinner. Go to dinner. Yo creo que tenemos have dinner. How? Uh -huh. Tenemos, ajá, sí, en, en mi familia usualmente nosotros tenemos la cena a las seis. Uh -huh. sí. There you tenemos. can say have, have dinner or eat dinner. Have dinner. Or eat dinner. Eat. Okay. eat. En español eat. sería tenemos, cenamos. Um, cenar, ya. Yeah. Yeah, it would be the same. Have dinner, cenar, eat dinner, cenar. Both. Y goes se utiliza cuando va a un sitio, ¿verdad? Como go to mm -hmm. the bed, go to the... Mm, yes. Yes, go is go to the bed. Right? So mm -hmm. you could also say, for example, like go to have dinner at a restaurant or something like that. But, but we normally use have or eat with dinner, lunch, and breakfast. Okay. Thanks. Uh, number four. My two finishes at school. 3 p.m. And then I go home. Mm -hmm. My boss. Number five on the weekends. Number five on the weekends. I go to bed later than on weekdays. I go to bed later than on okay. six Susan my alarm clock goes off at eight AM. On Sunday, but I don't get up. Mm -hmm. Get up mm -hmm. until 8.30 a.m. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I take a shower and then I get dressed and then I brush my teeth later I I put my makeup on and then I go to work um later i have lunch um after that <laughs> ¿Cómo sería decir antes? after before uh, before before i have breakfast later um how do you say comienzo a trabajar in english Start, start to work. Start I work. start oh. to work. Start to work. I you start say, to work. Let I start, sorry. You say, I start working. I start working. I start working. Start working. I start working. And then I have lunch. Uh, later, I continue to work. And then I... I come back home. Later, I, 
I watch TV. Uh, then... qué hermoso león tiene. <risa> sí, aquí siempre se pone por aquí. <risa> <risa> qué lindo. <risa> Bye. Ok. Uh, later I um, listen to music. And then I check my social networks. Um, later, and I study English. And then I have I have dinner. And finally, I go to sleep. <laughs> ah, very interesting, Lisette. Great. <laughs> Doña Dalia Ramos, sí, ella está, oh. está ansiosa por decir su rutina. Ay. <laughs> no. Okay. I get up uh, four a.m. and I brush my teeth uh, before taking. Get, verdad? Sí, get. Sí. Siete. He always brush my teeth. Go to bed. Y siempre. Teeth. Teeth. ¿Qué es? Teeth. Dientes. Cepillo. Ahí la que tiene que decir. Siempre cepillo mis dientes antes de ir a la cama. Y a brush. Brush. Brush my teeth before I go to bed. Brush my teeth before. We go to bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bed. Mm -hmm. The number okay. eight. On weekdays, I go. Sería. I go mm -hmm. mm -hmm. with my friends. With my friends at night. A.M. Perdón, como como dijo compañera, no. Sería go. On, on go. go. I go to school. Go. We. Friends. At 9. Bien. Ok. El último, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Bueno, aquí tenemos que pasarla a negativa, ¿va? Ah, sí, a negativa. Y yeah, I don't take. Oh. I, ajá, I, como es. ¿Yo? Uh -huh. I don't. Uh -huh. I don't contractado, uh, I don't sí, take take don't. the train to the office the number two the train the two de sí, vale. sería y no 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 ahí sería das verdad tren verdad sí sería das porque es para ir también uh -huh, uh -huh. 
Entonces sería doesn't the train. Mm -hmm. Or oh, that's not. Are, you are talking about number two. No. No, the... Are you talking about, sorry, are you no. talking about number two? May I help you? Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> so there we have the train to Berlin leaves every hour. Then mm -hmm. we're talking about the train, that's an it. If we want to replace it with a pronoun, it. So it would be mm -hmm. the train to Berlin doesn't leave every hour, doesn't leave. Yes, that would be all. Doesn't live every hour. The train Berlin doesn't. Leaves every every hour. How? Oh. Every hour. Every hour. The number three. John doesn't live. Does no. Doesn't. John. John. Doesn't sleep. Eight hours every night during the week. Is correct, teacher. Yes, that's fine. John doesn't sleep. Mm -hmm. Number two. Carol doesn't brush. They the number five sería they don't, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Travel. Says President of the youth doesn't live, verdad? Mm -hmm. Doesn't live. Doesn't live. Solo así quedaría la seis. Doesn't live. In the doesn't live in the White House. In the White House. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In the White House. Mm -hmm. A dog has 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 for me. It sería yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ya, dos, entonces. Piernas, tiene dos piernas, dos patas. Ajá. A dos. Sería, ¿verdad? A dos. 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 Adopta son. Adop. Dosen. No sé For si. Has. Has también, ¿verdad? Has. Pasado. Sí. Y ya se habrá ido la Miss. No, I'm here. <laughs> Miss, so, necesitamos ayuda en la siete, por favor. Number seven, ok. Let me see. A dog has four legs. A dog is it, right? So what auxiliary do we use? Doesn't. Doesn't. 
A dog doesn't have. Has. Yes, the base form of the verb has is have. 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 So it is a dog doesn't have four legs. Not some hot for length. Okay, so we're getting back to the main room right now. We just have a couple of seconds. See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Hi, Frank. Mm -hmm. Teacher, more time. Oh, no, more what time. happened? <laughs> more time. time, you didn't finish, Antonio? <laughs> no, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, finish. You all finished. <laughs> yes. Cool. I, um is um, a, a, a short time and muy poco tiempo. Yeah, it was a short time. Oh, but I saw some time? people uh, even practicing other okay. things, so that's the thing. Completed the exercise. You completed all of them. Okay, good. In complete or in past. All right. So let's check them pretty quickly. Tell, tell me, oh, we already said well, number one, Tom gets up early every morning. Number two, he usually mm -hmm. takes a shower. Takes a shower. He takes. takes a shower before breakfast. Number three, he always Eat. eats breakfast before going to school. Number four, then he Goes. 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 goes to school on foot. Number five, sometimes he has, he has, has lunch. Has. Exactly, he has, has lunch has. in the school has canteen lunch. Lunch. with a friend. And this word canteen is cafeteria. It's the same thing. Number six, after school, he always does he does, 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 does his homework and let me clarify that here the the um, phrase the, the expression is do homework we cannot say uh, make homework. homework okay yeah you always say do homework never say make homework then number seven in the afternoon he play play, play. Plays yeah, football in the park. In the park. Number eight, he has he has, has dinner. He has yeah. dinner with his parents with at his seven. Parents at seven yeah. Number nine, sometimes he watches the second one. Watch it after dinner. Letter B. Watches. Watches. Watches, watches. watches a little TV after dinner. And the last one at 10 p.m. he yes. sleeps. Yes goes to bed, goes to bed. Okay, in the next practice, number one, what is the word? Get up. Usually, get, up. Get, up. get up or wake up. It could also be get up or wake up. Number two, I have lunch. Have I lunch. have lunch. I have a lunch. You can say I have lunch or I eat lunch. Number three, in my family, we usually eat, eat. eat. again, eat. it could be eat or have, eat dinner or have dinner. 
Number four, my school finishes at 3 p.m. And then I go. Go. Go home. Go home by go bus. Home. By bus. Number five, on the weekends, I go go, I go to the bed. Go to the go bed. Go to bed later than on we weekdays. Bed. Number six, my alarm clock goes off at 8 a.m. on Sunday, but I don't get up. Get up. Get up, get up until 8.30 a.m. Number seven, I always... Brush my teeth before brush. I go to bed. And on weekdays, I go to, go to school. Go to school with my friends at 9 a.m. Okay, here you have to change them to the negative. Tell me number one, please. I take the train to the office. It would be I don't. I don't take. I don't take the train to the office. Number two. The train to Berlin leaves every hour. The train to Berlin does, yes. doesn't, doesn't leave. Doesn't leave every yeah. hour. Good. John sleeps eight hours every night <laughs> during the week. John doesn't John sleep doesn't every day during the week. Doesn't live. Perfect. Number four, Carl brushes her teeth twice a day. Carl doesn't. Carl doesn't. Carl doesn't. Brush. Brush. You change trash a day. Okay. Number five, yeah. they travel to their country house every weekend. They, they don't, don't travel to their country travel. house every weekend. Number six, the president of the USA lives in the White House. The president yes. of the USA doesn't live in the White House. Great, a dog has four legs. A dog does a dog has and has four, four legs. legs. How or has? Doesn't have. Uh, Here we say, uh, yeah, let me write it so we're clear about that one. Be a dog doesn't have four legs. Uh, Yes, remember that have is an irregular verb, so it changes to has for the third person, he, she, it. But in the mm. infinitive, it is have, like this. Okay, number eight, we come from Switzerland. We don't come from Switzerland. We don't, um, we don't come from Switzerland. Number nine, it rains a lot in winter. It doesn't, it doesn't rain. rain a lot in the winter. Doesn't, it doesn't rain a lot in winter. And the last one, they speak English at work. They don't, they don't speak, speak English at work. They don't speak English at work. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and do a, a dictation practice. So I am going to dictate some sentences. I want you to pay attention and grade them. Let's see how it goes. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Great. Number one, in the morning, in the morning, comma, 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 right? Like the, the mm -hmm. punctuation mark. In the morning, comma, mm -hmm. The queen has breakfast in bed. The queen has breakfast in bed. In the morning, the queen has breakfast in bed. Number two. After back after breakfast, comma, after breakfast, comma, the queen feeds her dogs. After breakfast, comma, the queen feeds her dogs. Would you please teach her? After breakfast, comma, the queen feeds her dogs. 
eat. Okay, number two. After breakfast, oh. the queen feeds her dogs. After breakfast, comma, the queen feeds her dogs. Number three. She reads the newspaper. She reads the newspaper. Three. She reads the newspaper. She reads the newspaper. Number four. She takes her dog for a walk. She takes her dog for a walk. She takes her dog for a walk. Four, she takes her dog for a walk. Number five, she does the gardening. Five, she does the gardening. She does the gardening. She does the gardening. Number six, the queen and her gardener eat lunch. The queen and her gardener eat lunch. The queen and her gardener eat lunch. Let me repeat them all in case you need to check. We got number one, in the morning, the queen has breakfast, breakfast in bed. Number two, after breakfast, the queen feeds her dogs. Three, she reads the newspaper. Four, she takes her dogs for a walk. Five, she does the gardening. Six, the queen and her gardener eat lunch. Did you get them? <laughs> Did you all get them? Okay, now you can check them here on the screen. We got number one, in the morning, the queen has breakfast in bed. Two, after breakfast, the, king, the queen feeds the, her dogs. Three, she reads the newspaper. Four, she takes her dogs for a walk. Five, she does the gardening. And six, the queen and her gardener eat lunch. So how did you do? Get them this way. So so? And so so. So so. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry about it. We'll keep on practicing. More practice. Yes, right. We need more practice. What is the meaning for a gardener? Gardener, the person who takes care of plants. In your garden, jardinero. Jardinero in Spanish. Yes. Okay. So the queen, solo... the queen, the reina. Okay. So let's continue by talking a little bit about our daily routines. So this is what we're going to do. I am going to send you once again to the breakout room so you can share with your classmates. And I want you to talk about your daily routines. And also I need you to complete this page on the student's manual, page number 25. There you have to ask a partner about another person's or another partner's um, routine. For example, saying, does he work in an office? Does he work in a company? Does he work in, in a mechanic garage or just whatever place? And also you can ask about the activities they do. Does she create software? Does she make reports? Does she make phone calls and so on? Then you also have to complete the chart 
by asking five classmates about their daily routines at work. And then you share the information to three different classmates. So you keep on talking and sharing. And at last, we have to write some questions. So that is what you're going to do. Is it clear? Um, do we have any questions? We have to do the page 24 and 25. No, it's only 25. Oh, okay. Thanks. All right. Okay, so we're only having two big groups. So that will be groups of six. Go ahead and accept the invitation, please. Hello. 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 Entonces tenemos que hacer, compañeros, la <laughs> nuestra rutina diaria, ¿verdad? Cada uno. Lo que estamos practicando, ¿verdad, Dalia Ramos? Sí. Eso vamos a hacer. <laughs> Entonces, ¿quién empieza? Yo creo que la primerita sería Margil, María Carmelina. Your Bye. daily routine. Uh -huh. hey, in the world, ¿verdad? The, oh, no, ahí sí no me recuerdo si es co correspondiente a todo el día. O, a um, it doesn't matter. You can talk about both. Your oh. personal life and also work. Participa el gato de Zulma. <risa> Cada rato estoy peleando con él. Mucho ¿Sí? soy Zulma. Sí. Ha tenido que hablar del gato. De gato parte de la sí. rutina. Muy bien, María Carmelina. Puede empezar. Entonces vamos a hacer las actividades de trabajo o lo que hacemos normalmente todo el día. No, mejor del trabajo más corto, ¿verdad? Porque a veces sí. tenemos poco tiempo. Sí. Ay, mejor, dice. <risa> Ah, pues empezamos, María Carmelina. Usted ha sido la elegida. Vele. Eh, my word. Uh, sí, yo no sé si va a ser correcto, pero bueno, estamos aprendiendo. I see the sí. dress areas, the accountant, eh, treasury, and finance. And the in the areas uh, work the report uh, uh, would get uh, supervise the cash flow uh, uh, ¿Cómo se diría una parte de una parte de administración? Una parte de a saber, bueno. A part of. Déjalo. A part. A part of. Déjalo. A part of eh, management. 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 Yes, eh, or administration. You can also say that. Or uh, administration. Eh, I see the many, ¿qué sería? Muchas cosas. <laughs> like, what time do you eat lunch? Ah, uh, at uh, 1 p.m. Mm. Sería 1 p.m., ¿no? Uh, p.m. P.m. And, at, and at well, what time do you do you got to come back to your house? Uh, six p.m. Six, six p.m. Yes. Qué bueno. Y ahí se acaba la rutina laboral, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Muy bien, María Carmelina. ¿Quién sigue entonces? Hi, Arnoldo. Ar Arnoldo Morales. Okay. Uh, I get up um, 
six thirty. Um, I am go to work at half past six. I work from seven thirty and leave at past three. I have to go a house, return it is past four. Muy bien, Arnoldo Morales. Ok. Dale una compañera, porque con Dale ya estuvimos practicando. Queremos escucharla a ustedes. <risa> wow. Eso, sí, no, eso. Susana. ¿Soy yo? Ah, Susana. Susana. <risa> eso, Susana. Okay. I, I go to work eight. A.M. I give a consultation. I saw patients. I do healing. Healing se dice inyectar, ¿va? Indicar. Inyectar. Inyectar, dice. Healing. Um, no, a healing would be curar. Curar, curar. A curar, ajá. A take. Vaccinate, uh, vaccinate sería eh, vaccinar, yes. este, teacher. Vaccination. Yes, vaccinate sí. es vacunar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I take cytologies, um, I have chronic disease, uh, uh, 10, take a, I know, say, a re refreshment, uh -huh. uh, combat my house, 4 p.m. That's 4 it. Bueno, Susana, excelente. ¿Y el gatillo qué va a decir, pues? Bueno? Aquí está la gata. Ay, ahí está el gato. Ah, es gata. ¿Qué siembra? No, es gato. De, qué chulo. Sí. Es mi amigo. Sí. Sí. Galaba. Ya lo bajé muchas veces y no quiere, quiere aprender Ay. inglés. No, hombre, ahí deje el hombre. Ahí deje el hombre, está bonito. Sí. Si no puede dígale. Ah, <laughs> está bueno. Come ratones todo el día, ese. Sí, sí. Bueno, so entonces, eh, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> get up and um, five, five, am, 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 um, take a shower. Um, luego, no sé cómo dice luego. Then. Luego, then. then. ¿Cómo? Then. 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 Or then. After that. Mm -hmm. uh, luego, brush my teeth. Uh, mm, in the world, the... Ay, no sé cómo hacer el trabajo común. I eat, I, eat I, eat work. Work. I eat at work. I eat at work. I eat at work. I'm responsible in the taller. Workshop. 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 That's workshop. right. ¿Qué significa workshop? Talleres. Oh, uh -huh. Ah, talleres. Um, back to home. 3.13 p.m. No sé si me faltó algo. Eso. <risa> uh, Eso. Ahí alcanza. Ahí eh, alcanza my Dalia. My favorite cat. Ah, <risa> tío, bien. <The> cat. <risa> bueno, voy yo entonces. I go to work at 7 a.m. And the first thing that I do is prepare material for the art class because the students arrive at 8, 8, 8, 8 a.m. Then from 8 to 12, I, I, I teach art class. And then I, at 12, I, I, I training. I make some training, weightlifting with So partner, and then I would take uh, lunch. 
from 2 to 4 p.m. Uh, work with another students that arrive. And then I go to, to go come back to house at, at 4 p.m. That's all. Okay. <laughs> In Dalia Ramos. Okay. And I get up at 4 a.m. every day. I brush my teeth, then take a shower, then I have a breakfast in my house, then I'm, I'm start, I go to the work, and I have, no, I read the report and the personal and, ¿cómo se decía lo de revisar los correos? Eh, check, eh, my, no. check my email. Catch up with emails. Uh, oh, or catch, catch up. up. Uh -huh. catch, up. Catch, up catch up would be email. poner al día. And check, mm -hmm. revisar or chequear. Check, revisar. Mm -hmm. Check my emails. And I have a lunch, then I continue work. Um, I super supervising the personnel, and I um, go back to home. Uh, I have a dinner and to prepare for class English. Then sleep, yeah. <laughs> yes, That's so, it. yeah. <laughs> it's time to mature, Miss Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> no, five, three, three, yeah, un, con, ando con sueño. <laughs> Muy bien, terminamos. Okay. You're done. Um, ha, hmm? You're done. Maybe now you can practice making questions. For example, um, does Carmelina work in an office? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Work Good. Okay, so keep on practicing those kinds of questions. For example, you could say, does Susana see her patients? Goodness, I'm tired. Does Susana see her patients? Yes, I do. Okay, so you keep on practicing that. But just remember, if I ask you, does she? You, you answer saying, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. If the question is, do you? Then you answer, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Bueno, yo voy a hacer una pregunta entonces a las compañeras. Voy a preguntar sobre Arnoldo. Does Arnoldo use makeup, makeup in, in his face? Makeup, se maquilla, usa maquillaje en su cara, Arnoldo. No. No, yo ya, yo no. No, yo no. Por eso yo les, no, yo, yo les pregunto a las compañeras a ver qué responden. O sea, no. ¿Quién responde? ¿Quién responde? Es un ejemplo. Okay, so we're done with our class. Let me just remind you that today we got the one-on-one -on -one sessions. So you have already been informed about that. And today we got Sulma Marlene, then Francisco Humberto. After Francisco, we got Rafael Alexandre, Alexander, then Susana Margarita, and then Jose Arnoldo. Are we okay with that? Are we all fine with that schedule? ¿Estamos bien con ese horario? ¿Estamos todos bien sí, para sí. conectarnos? Ok, perfecto. Teacher. Teacher. 
Tell Yo me. no voy a poder, piche. No puede usted, Susana. Ok, ¿hay alguien que pudiera tomar el espacio de Susana? O Tony, no sé si ayer me preguntó, tal vez pudiéramos hacer ese cambio ahí. Yes. Puede entrar usted, um, sí, de 10.30 a 10.40. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Thank you, Tony. All right, so just remember that we have a different link to enter to those sessions. Recordemos que es un link diferente, así que ahí lo tienen en el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, José Manuel, do you have a question? Sí, este, adicionar a las tareas que hay en la plataforma, ah, verdad que hay, hay unas una más, ¿verdad? No. Aparte de las de las cinco. No, es que uh, ahí vi yo I que mean, decían mil. Ah, yeah, we got the midterm exam, but we have not done it and we are not ready yet. So I'll tell you at the end of the week what to do with that, okay? And then now that you remind me, um, remember that today you have to complete homework number eight. That is the one for this class. Okay, so have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, good night everybody. Sleep well.